Okay, I love getting off work. Who doesn't love getting off work? And I love coming home, seeing my beautiful wife, my loving children, it's always awesome. Um, but sometimes I come home and I get that and there's a box. And today that was one of those days and I love that. Um, you know, what's not to love? It's more of a good thing. So this came to me from Off Grid Knives today and uh, <laughs> this box is, deep i don't know what's in here uh, but i sure am excited because i love off-grid knives i'm going to open this box with the off-grid knives scorpion a premium full size it's in their elite line premium full size folder this one is a v1 from the first run this was made by Wee knives they are now made by best tech uh, expertly crafted by best tech uh, this run was made by Wee. this is titanium you've got um carbon fiber, you've got super smooth action bearings, S35VN, um, deep carry pocket clip. This was before Carrie heard the call of all of us nerds and started uh, putting flat screws in there. So uh, all of the new off-grid knives have the deep carry pocket clip with the flat screws. He listens, he's nimble, uh, great designs, great production by Best Tech. So I'm gonna dig into this and see what's in here. Obviously, uh, this is just tape I'm cutting, so I don't need such a sweet knife for this job, but uh, for ceremony, I'm going to use it, of course. All right, let us see what we got here. Oh, let's see. The Knife Junkie needs his fix. <laughs> Here's your new designs. Stinger, Stinger XL, Blackout and Coyote, Rapid Fire, Rescue and Warncliffe, and Baby Rhino Blackout. Enjoy, Carrie. Wow, that is awesome. My God, he is generous. All right, so I can't keep these all for myself. Uh, so I, I'm going to take a look at these, and then we will we will fashion a giveaway uh, of some of this stuff. But, uh, you know, to keep the collection whole, I'm going to have to keep one of each model, of course. So let's see here. Oh, my goodness. I am so excited. Oh, look at this, a dense box of knives. All right, let's pull these suckers out. Take a look at them in turn. Okay. All right. Okay, the one I'm most excited to see is the Stinger XL. So let's take a look at the Stinger XL. This is a totally new model. Uh, rapid Fire, there's a new uh, Warncliffe model and a new... Um, rescue model and there's a new version of the baby rhino but this is one that I have never ever seen so I'm looking forward to this okay so th there are two stingers here let's look at the coyote first oh my gosh all right oh wow oh man this g10 feels so good it's contoured and smooth it's got a large chamfer on this side and contouring on this side some cutouts there for for gription you've got oh that's nice this is something new um a cover plate for the notch into which you can switch the clip clip deep carry and flat three screws there Ooh, let's see what this is like oh wow wow oh man okay so in in typical off-grid form it is crazy damn sharp and still even with that saber grind still feels very thin behind the edge um i love off-grid knives uh, especially for cutting cardboard these things just whiz through cardboard like it's nothing but this to me does not look like a cardboard knife this looks to me like a shark fighting knife or a rhino fighting knife look at this man this is cool all right so that's the stinger coyote stinger xl coyote and uh hearing seeing the xl there makes me think makes me wonder will there be a stinger regular size okay here is the blackout oh man this is beautiful ah, i love this model yes okay so very rigid this is at least four inches. One, two, three, four on the dot. Four inch 
dagger ground blade, of course, only sharp on the top. I guess technically that's a bayonet ground blade, uh, I think. But, whoa, I love this. Beautiful action, awesome jimping up here. I like the way it's full thickness, full width of the blade, just for the jimping. And then you got go down to this false edge, which not for nothing, if you were so inclined, I mean, you, you wouldn't want to. You could sharpen that though. It comes to such a thin swedge, you could sharpen that. Of course you wouldn't want to because it's always exposed, but that just shows how thin it is here and how amazing this will be at penetrating because you've got a diamond profile at the tip. Wow. Oh, I love it. I love the Stinger XL. Okay, so let's see what else we have in here. These, of course, I will do uh, close-up videos on, and uh, I will expound. I will talk about them at length, you know, as I like to do. Uh, but I'm going to leave these beauties right here. These, by the way, I just have to say, you know, they have that, what, uh, that best tech build. These are nice and solid, very little uh, relief. A weight relief in here on the liners, but you do have some three large lozenge shaped um, relief. Uh, oh, I don't have my light. Little things in there. I'm actually half, at, I'm at half my lighting right now. So sorry about that, but man, this handle feels great. And you got that amazing best tech action. And I love that kind of action with large blades also, because with the large blades, it accentuates the thwack out and the drop in. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Uh, rapid fire blackout. This is the Warncliffe. I love the rapid fire. And, uh, oh, look at this. We gave a away a rapid fire a, not too long ago. This is the Warncliffe. Oh, ooh, ooh, that is cool. All right. I. Well, I'm not going to do it right now, but my first thought was the Black Stallion. This is like almost a companion knife to their Black Stallion. That Warncliffe is wicked, wickedly cool. So rapid fire being a rapid fire, it is spring assisted. I believe this is their one spring assisted knife. And um, man, it fires out. It fires out really in a very gratifying way gratifying way. That is nice. I I love the pocket clip on the rapid fire. Uh, my brother has one. And then, like I said, we gave one away here uh, that was donated to the channel by this old sword. And um, wow, that worn clip is amazing. Man, that is going to be an amazing work knife. Uh, wow. Very cool. All right, so let's put this one down. Now, this is the Rapid Fire Rescue. How cool. Let's see, ooh, love it. Orange, or orange, depending on where you're from. Ooh, geez, oh, Pete, those teeth are wicked. My God. Oh my gosh, those, those serrations are just horrendous. And by horrendous, I of course mean good horrendous. Um, mm, wow, this is this is cool. This is very cool. So taking advantage of that Warncliffe shape uh, for the rescue knife so you can get under seat belts and such uh, without damaging the rider, you know, you can imagine this, you, you're taking your chances with a point like that if you're trying to sneak under something uh, but a, a tip like this, so nicely rounded, you can really slip under there. And then you can take advantage of those teeth and pull. And then this one, ooh, 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 has a glass breaker. And this glass breaker is different, looks a little bit more sophisticated uh, than the glass breaker, say, on the, on the Enforcer XL, which is, uh, to be fair, uh, that is a tactical knife, and that Enforcer XL glass breaker definitely doubles as a pommel weapon um, or a pain compliance device when it's closed because it's uh, it's on a higher pillar and it's a little larger and 
and pointy. Oh, very cool. My God, those are cool. All right, so like I said, I'll be doing videos on all of these. And then here we go with the blackout baby rhino. Oh my gosh, this thing is so cool. So I have the gray one and uh, my wife really like very quickly took it and assimilated it into her, th her uh, knife collection. Um, this is cool. I might have to uh, get one to give away because I think this one is mine. <laughs> Uh, but I would like to give this knife away or give uh, this um, model of knife away to show how great a tiny knife like this. Look at this. I can't even get three fingers on it. But how great this thing is. This is the best tiny knife I've ever held in my hand. And I think a lot of it has to do with uh, basically this is a reduction by some percentage of the, of the large version of this knife. Uh, except when it comes to the width, it's about the same width or exactly the same width. And that width really makes this fill the hand so that you're not missing that third. I mean, I get a little bit of my third finger on, but most people with bigger hands will not. But that width and the jimping and the shape of this knife really make it a sure in hand, tiny knife. So I love this baby rhino. Uh, it also comes in all gray with that uh, titanium nitrite coating and uh, gray G10, and it's just very cool. Wow. So you got to go check off, uh, check out Off Grid Knives. Um, they have new releases. They're kind of always releasing something new. I feel like they uh, carry rolls out designs with some sort of regularity, not too quickly, uh, and sells through them. Like the neck knife, for instance, he's not making that right now, um, but he's on to other things. And then uh, maybe in the future, he makes the neck knife again. Uh, but I will have you know, he still honors warranties on those. Uh, I was just talk talking with him about that. Oh man, I love this knife. All right, love them all. Let me go through them real quick. Uh, this is the Baby Rhino Blackout Edition, new. Uh, here is the uh, Rescue Rapid Strike. Uh, all in 150, oh no, this is in 14C28N. This is in one, uh, 14C28N also. This is in 14C. This is the regular rapid fire Warncliffe. And then these are in 154, yeah. A crucible 154, so that means this is CPM 154, um, right? If it's crucible, uh, it's CPM, crucible powder metallurgy. And 154, I, I think. So uh, these are the Stinger XLs. Uh, and there's a little uh, fore foreshadowing there in the name XL. Uh, hopefully, hopefully there's a small version of this coming someday. Uh, but I will stick happily with this large one. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. Go check out Off Grid Knives. I'm going to put my affiliate link, uh, link in the description. And so you know, I've been offered affiliate links with a number of different knife companies, but Off Grid is the only one I've ever accepted because I can actually truly endorse them uh, wholeheartedly because I, I absolutely love the designs and I absolutely love that he makes them through Best Tech. And I like Carrie's story and he's a cool guy too. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching.